everyone and welcome to the Glitzy Stitches Home DIY Studio. Today we're participating in the challenge, Craft Your Space. Super excited about this. This is hosted by Indiani Jones. It's hosted by Unicorn Dust Designs as well as Simple Roots, Simple Living. I am really excited to be showing you guys my space today. As you know, I have a small space. My space is 8 by 10. And just this past week in preparation for this challenge, I've been brainstorming as how to give myself more space. This challenge comes at a perfect challenge comes at a perfect time for me. Okay, so just day before yesterday, I made an aisle in this 8 by 10 space. This aisle, oh, I've needed it for the past seven months. It has worked out so well for me. I've made myself little crafting areas that I'm excited to show you. Also storage. I have storage within storage. Um, I keep holidays coming up in a certain spot, paints in a certain spot. Everything is where I need it to be. Um, my chair literally swivels around to each area so I don't have to move things around to get to them and things like that in this small space. So without further ado, I want to go ahead and I want to show you my room. And also, I will have Annie of Indiana Jones, Sammy of Unicorn Dust Designs, and also Jamie of Simple Roots, Simple Living. Their links to their channels will be listed in my description box below, as well as the playlist link. Okay, so starting from the corner, as you can see here, off to the right is my window. That gives me all of my natural light. It's quite a large window, and it gives me a whole lot of light. Now we're going on to, this is literally my crafting area. This is where I make all of my crafts and designs, and right here is where I store all of my wooden pieces that I use, and my drill and things are below. You can see my work caddy right there. Okay, this is my desk. I call it an organized chaotic mess most of the time. But I know where everything is and we can get it done. Okay, right here is what you see on my camera when I do record. And right above that is my laminating machine around this way this is all my shelving all of my paints and there is a display shelf that I just created and I love it and here we have over in this corner is where I store my flowers are in a vase now this area was a big one because I had storage over here by my closet and I could not open the closet door I would have to move things each time I would want to open my closet door. So I'll show you how we fix that as well. Okay, and then here is the wall where I take most of my pictures. Okay, so many of my pictures right above my sewing machine. Four shelves packed with books because I also do book art. All of my signs are right there, all lined up. And guys, here we have the aisle I made. Okay, this is the aisle I made for my crafting purposes and storage. And I store all of my ribbon there. Okay, here is our logo wall. There's our gnome of the month. Our logo sign. Some valentines. Boyd's Bears, and down below again, you have all of your storage there, and this is my Cricut area. One of my biggest investments was my Cricut machine when I first started my channel, and I keep all of my vinyls and such right over in this corner. It's in one area. I can get back to it and it is so simple to just go back there and design and here is 
my dry erase board where I keep all of the challenges that I'll be participating in and um, it just wipes right off and each month I keep it updated so just this past week I updated it and um, those are the remaining challenges for the month so and then this is my computer desk guys here we are at my computer desk there's my computer and everything here this is my fax machine scanner and copy machine that I'm here this is what i was speaking of okay i thought well i'm going to bring this is all my scrapbooking paper and um my uh journal making supplies and stuff too storage bins over there and I couldn't get to my closet well and I thought well I'll just bring one over to you know make more room for my closet well guys I ended up making the aisle and it's actually one of the best things for storage I have ever done but that's the little space that I have okay friends so that concludes the tour of my craft room it's very small but the key to a small space is storage shelves and containers. I appreciate you, my subscribers, so very much. Thank you for joining me today. Till the next one, remember that coming up Monday the 25th, we have our Gnome of the Month week, and, and Saturday the 30th, we'll be debuting them. So look forward to seeing you there. Thank you guys so much. Have a blessed day. Bye.